Hi Julian Blood. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for for stopping by. Thank you for being the first. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. You're my first like. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your kindness. How are you? How are you this morning? It's almost nine o'clock over there. It's almost nine in the morning. Yeah, I'm doing good. I was nervous today because a while ago because um, I worked out today after having five days off and so I was worried and the reason why I, I took the reason why I took five days off from working out was because I hurt my back and it was hurting for the last couple of days and so I, I, um, I stopped working out for five days I gave my my back rest five days and so today was the first day after five days, so my back killed up pretty good. It did. So, but before I started my workout, I was a little nervous because I was worried about my back, but it held up. It didn't, it didn't bother me, so um, I'm good. Thank you, my friend. I'm, I'm good now. I'm good now. I hope that um, you had your num num already, your meal and all that stuff, your breakfast. And your cafe, your coffee. I have to come towards the phone so I can see. I had coffee and bread for breakfast. Oh, that's good, my friend. I'm happy that you did. I hope you enjoy. How's your your hubby and your kids? I hope that your family's doing fine. And that you wake up this morning with no problemas. Gudu, Sahani, live news, hi my friend, welcome, my son is in school, 
Now, my firstborn child is here with me, done her exam yesterday, and my husband is in the farm now, catching fish. Oh, that is so fun. I love to fish. A-R-A-R -A -R vlogs. Hi. Hi, my friend. I hope you're doing great. Guru, hello from Julius Vlog. So you know how you you know how you guys have um that word guya and tagalo or over here, we have a product, and it's these cookies that you get to eat with, um, let me turn on the light from the back side. Abraham, don't jump. So, these cookies you could have with, um, coffee, and the company name for this it's called Guya. We pronounce it over here, Guya, in Spanish. So they make um, these Guya cookies that you could have it with coffee. They, all, they just don't make these cookies Guya. They also ha make rice, they make beans, and they do other um, products. That's the name of the company is Guya. There's a chocolate also called Guya. Oh, it's there by Julius Vlog. And Julius Vlog says, A-R-A-R, -A -R. hello. Julius Vlog says, Guru, hello. Ice cream butter is so good. I feel like I'm missing something. Banana. No, I got everything. Sorry, this might be loud. You know, now you got me curious. I gotta check if there's a, a guia chocolate over here. Or maybe you guys have a different type of guia.
Okay. So I discovered that it's better to use the it's better to use the creamy type of Skippy peanut butter because this one's called super chunky. It has peanuts inside. Let me open it for you guys so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see chunks of peanuts. See, there's chunks of peanuts inside the peanut butter. So, in the blender, when I make it as a as a drink, there's chunks of peanuts that I'm swallowing, so I could feel it in my throat. So it's it's better to use the creamy peanut butter, not the chunky, not the chunky crunchy peanut butter, because the peanuts you could feel it swallowing when you when you drink your shake. I have to be careful when I drink so the small chunks of peanuts don't get stuck in my throat. This is good for when you make a sandwich or something. At least I know now. Thank you for the two and the thumbs up, my friends. Thank you. Thank you, ARER Vlogs and Julius Vlogs and Guru. Thank you. Oh, you're loading video, my friend. Well, you're probably on live. Most likely you're live because you're always busy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I noticed that you're you're all. You're very busy, my friend. YouTube's lucky to have you. <laughs> Maybe one day if I could, you know, I could be more on YZ if I could, if I can, if I have the opportunity. I also, um, I also made, um, I went to a different platform and I've had it for a while. I've had it for a while and, um, 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Rumble. It's just like, it's like YouTube. And it's called Rumble. R-U-M-B-L-E. And um, it's, uh, it's very similar to, to YouTube, but slightly different. It takes a while to, to get used to it because um, I'm so used to YT. So I go to um, Rumble and um, I go there just once in a while. But majority of the times I'm, I'm here and um, on YT. Thank you, the hello Rica. Hello, James. Giddings, James Giddings from Michigan. Hello, my friend. Thank you for for coming along and paying a visit. Thank you, the hello Rica and Julius vlog. Thank you, guys. So right now in Michigan, they're three hours ahead. So I'm in California and James is in Detroit, Michigan. So if I'm right there, they're three hours ahead. Because on my side of the U.S. is the West Coast. That side, on the other opposite side, is the East Coast. Yes. Yes. Your um your short videos on the train is interesting. You know, I like to to look at it because I like to observe the people or little things that other people don't notice. I like to go in and and see things and that's why I, I put comments on your on your um train ride even though it's very short videos i could pinpoint things other other people don't until i mention it yeah i'm, I'm very i'm very observant but not only observant but i have like um I have the instincts of reading reading people's body language too. Um, it um, what can I say? It it warns me ahead of time if something's gonna happen, so I could you know uh, be aware and I could move like more to a, um, a safer distance or. I could come in closer and prevent something, but um, yeah, I've had that since I was very young. It's like an instinct that it's in me. Yes, Lorica. Thank you for the for the face. <laughs> I like that face, even though it's 
It, it looks like it's disturbed. <laughs> Mrs. Korekik is in, um, she's at work right now. And I'm taking care of Abraham. Let me show you guys my new glasses. Tell me if you like it. These are my new glasses. It has the American colors, red, white, and blue. That's the American colors. <clears throat> These are really good in the sun. Oh, you know, you guys, in case you guys didn't um, know, do you know that what helps out too, when you suffer from a headache and you put on shades, I know it sounds funny and it looks funny inside the house, but the reason um, also why people get headaches because the light shines and it bothers you. Bright lights bother you and makes the headache um, pound. So when you use shades, when you have a headache, it helps out. Just make sure that when you, um, that these sides right here, they're not too tight. You know, you want it to be comfortable and shades are always good when you have a headache. Orbis, my friend. Hello, DK. Thank you for the thumbs up. Julius, thank you for the thumbs up, too. So remember, when you guys get headaches, put on shades. It helps out, even if you're in the house. Um... That's why I tell Mrs. Korekek too when she gets headaches, I tell her, why don't you put on shades? And she looks at me, she looks at me weird. <laughs> she probably thinks, <laughs> she probably thinks, why am I going to put on shades? I'm inside the house. <laughs> but I tell her, I've already told her that. It helps with headaches when you put on shades because it, it blocks the, the bright lights from inside the house because bright lights could make your um, could make your headache worse or make it last longer bright lights so that's why you put shades on and then and it helps out don't put bright yellow shades, put like dark, like blue lens, black lens, or um, dark copper lens. You know, you could have those. <laughs> like, I also have, I also have these shades right here. These are, these are amber, color amber. Let me take out my shades and see. Hello, my friend. Simple too. Thank you for the the hearts and the hug. Thank you for the heart. 
and the hug. Thank you so much. Finally, this laptop came on. I heard that in D Dubai, it's getting flooded over there. I've been hearing in the news and in YouTube that that country, I think it's called Dubai, it's getting flooded. A lot of water. Even the airport is getting flooded. Let me let this pop up, this picture pop up. Thank you, everybody. So these, um, see how they look? They're like copper. These, I like these when I go fishing because with these lens, the amber or the copper um, color of lens, it helps me um, see through the water easier. These help um, cut through the water easier where I could spot fish. If the water's not too deep, this helps me spot fish underwater. These are fishing glasses. Both of these are fishing glasses. So these are polarized. Let me show you guys the, how the other ones look. See, this is amber. This has a very nice um, color. It, um, it, it lightens things up a little bit more. It lightens things up. So when you look into the water, you're able to spot fish easier. So this is good as well. But um, I like these. I like these because these are like stylish. Plus, you know, I like the... I like the red, white, the red, white, and blue, the American color. I don't even know how much I paid for, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but these, the copper ones that I just had on, these cost me, let me see. Okay, so yeah, these cost me um, 1,500 pesos, these right here, the, the copper ones, cost me um, 1,500 pesos. And these right here, I'm trying to remember... These were cheaper. The, yeah. These right well, here. Let me mute this. I don't want you guys to hear double voice. Yeah, these were her here were they look cooler. <laughs> they look better. But they were um half the price of the fifteen hundred. So so these right here that I have on right now are cheaper 
than the ones I just put away. other um, sunglasses I had other sunglasses and um, either little little DK broke it or I lost it or he damaged it and I got more um, sunglasses and Mrs. Korekic says tells me, "Oh, what did you what did you order? Because I order things from Amazon, and Amazon delivers it. And so I get my package and I open it up and it's glasses. She's like, you got more glasses? <laughs> Vini, B Blug, thumbs up. Hello, everyone from Vini, B Blug." At Orbit's vlog, sis. That's cool glasses. Thank you, my friend. They, these make me look s slightly, slightly younger and slightly more guapo. <laughs> I'm messing around. I'm just messing around. Hello sis, Brini B vlog, good morning, salama, sa support sis. Also I went to the um, store earlier, let me show you guys what I, what I bought, I bought some, some ribs. Um, and Spanish ribs is called cosquillas. So, um, it's called cosquillas. So I bought some ribs. Rini, be vlog. <laughs> she laughs. That's what I want to say. Thank you, Rini. Let me show you where's the rib. So, I bought this today. See the ribs? He says, this is beef back ribs. So these are um, the ribs I bought. And I don't know when I plan to do it, but ribs are, are very delicious. Yeah, you season it and then you marinate it and you leave it like that for a couple of hours and then you um, then you either bake it or you could barbecue it whichever um, way you want Orbit, thank you thank you my friend Yes, Lorica. Says Renny. Be morning. Renny, be vlog. Hello, sis. Yes, Lorica. Good morning. I 
forgot that I still had more uh, of this here. Have you guys, um, have you guys heard of, of spicy, spicy mustard? Sorry, I left my, my shades on. It's famous here to cook beef. Rendang. That heart on the side of the comments blocks the last few, like the last two letters or something, or the last letter of the word. I think it's called, it's famous here to cook beef rendang here in Malaysia. It from Rainy Bee Vlog. Thank you for the five and the seven thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, beef back ribs, so delicious. Yes, I look forward to eating that um, in the next couple of days. Probably Saturday. No, probably tomorrow or Saturday. One of those two days. Um, um, me and Mrs. Correct will, will make it. Because most likely tomorrow she'll start early. And she gets off. She starts early and gets off early. Before the sun goes down. You know, when it becomes summer over here. I don't know if you guys know this. But when it becomes summer over here in the U.S., the sun doesn't go down until, I'm not lying to you guys, the sun doesn't go down until like about um, close to 9 o'clock at night. Or even if it's a little bit past 9, a little bit um, 9 o'clock, the, the sun is still out, it's still light outside. But um, during the hot summer months outside, it doesn't get dark until like about 9 or something. And at that time, you know, there's kids outside having fun, playing, because it's still light outside. How many of you guys read books? Do you, do any of you guys read books or you guys just read from your cell phone? Yeah, over here, especially during the summertime, during the summertime, it's, the parks here are always full because everybody goes to the park and goes barbecue, have fun, spend time with family. Here in the US, parks are so filled and everybody loves to barbecue. And if they're not in the park, then they're barbecuing at home in the backyard. It's very nice. I also bought um, hot dogs. See, these are These are Jumbo Franks. They call the hot dogs here Jumbo Franks. And these these hot dogs are made, look, it says right here, made with chicken and pork. 
added. Chicken and pork. So that's what these hot dogs are made out of. Chicken and pork. So I bought the, the bread so you could put the hot dog. That's why it's made this way. You can put the hot dog and then I bought um, chili beans. Chili beans is beans with um, like a sauce and ground beef from a can. So once you get the hot dog done and ready, then you put this on. See, hot dog chili sauce. So in this can, there's beef, ground beef with beans and a sauce. And it, it makes your hot dog taste so much better. And you get more full because the hot dog is more fuller with food. So it's very, um, it's very satisfying. Okay, let's see. Rini B Blog says, since I joined YouTube, I don't read books anymore. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sure. Estoy seguro que no eres la única. Meaning, I'm sure you're not the only one. <laughs> CTR, hello my friend, hello DK, Breezy's here, hello Breezy's, Breezy's, you know that whenever I now, whenever I see a pink and purple, like a pink or purple butterfly, I remember your name, Breezy's. It's crazy, but when I see like a, a pink or purple butterfly. <laughs> Sis Orbes from Brini B Vlog. CTR. Hello, Mom Orbes. And Orbes, hello, CTR. Seven people in the house with seven thumbs up. Seven mil with seven thumbs up. With seven mil thumbs up. Yeah, I like that. With seven mil thumbs up. We should start that. Instead of saying seven thumbs up, now seven mil. We might as well use the seven mil. CTR Breezy. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I like, I still like to read, you know, I like to read books and stuff. I read um, a variety of books. Um, lately I've been busy, so I haven't been reading books for, for a little bit, but the latest book that I got, my goodness guys, it is so interesting. It's very interesting. And... I keep myself from reading it all the time because I don't want to finish the book because the book is very thin. It's a thin book. It's a small book, but it is so, 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 so interesting. I got it from Amazon. I'll, 
I ordered quite a few things from Amazon. See, now that I drink that shake, now it's like I got the hiccups. But you know what they say the cure for hiccups is? They say there's a cure for hiccups. You guys want to know what that is? They say the cure for hiccups is if you handstand. If you stand up upside down, then your hiccups go away. <laughs> I was, I remember when I was a kid, um, I was in elementary school and the teacher said that. The teacher was, was cause there were, there's like three teachers that take care of us when we play outside during recess. And one of the kids, um, one of the kids had hiccups and the kid kept on going like this. And, and the teacher says, oh, you got the hiccups. She said, yes. And then the teacher said, you know, the way your hiccups go away is if you, if you handstand, if you're upside down, if you stand upside down. And the poor kid was trying to, to turn upside down so the hiccup could go away. <laughs> The stuff that we believe when we're kids. <laughs> it's funny. Um, kids are, 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 are so innocent, you know. Children of God. We're so innocent. When we're kids, we believe everything. Oh, and they was tell us, oh, don't go over there. You know how adults will say, don't go over there because the other day I saw a weird creature or a weird monster. And so we would believe it and we would get scared and we would not go over there. But the adults told us that because they don't want us to go too far. CTR, yes, you're right. Dijes Lorica. Thank you, Felipe Mojos. Thank you. Thank you, Breezies. Thank you, Reni. Thank you, Orbs. James Keating just um, came by. And said hello earlier from um, the, the comments. He just came to say hello. He's from Michigan. Michigan is, is here in the United States. In Detroit, Michigan. And they're three hours ahead of us. So right now it's 6.45. So it's 9.45 p.m. in Michigan right now. So that's how I find out how how far you guys are up ahead. I just have to count three hours ahead. So over there it's 9.45 in the Philippines, but in the morning. And his is 9.45 as well, but he is, he's PM. Okay, let me see. Clary Lynn vlogs. Hello, my friend. Thank you for for stopping by. Thank you so much for for coming, my friend. So Clary Lynn says hello everybody. Orbis vlog, hello says Clary Lynn. Vlogs, good morning. Good morning everybody. From Clary Lynn 
Simply Mamita, hello. She just came on, hello. Simply Mamita, thank you. Caroline Vlogs, Ad Orbs, Vlogs, hello, hello, Simply Mamita from Clary Lynn, hello sis, Simple Mamita, good morning, good evening, yes, it's evening here. Six seventeen over here, PM. Best vlogs is Mamita three hearts rainy be vlog hearts hug let me see thank you for the four and the eight thumbs up thank you my friends I'll be right back guys So I'm gonna show you guys um, some pictures from years and years and years ago, okay? So I could entertain you guys just for slightly a little bit. So let me see, this was when, oh my goodness, no, this one's like, this photo that I'm gonna show you guys right here, this is March 7th. 2005 <clears throat> so um where were you guys in 2005 were you guys there in the philippines are you guys in hong kong malaysia in the middle east working or you guys were just all home in in 2005. Dijes Lorica. And Rini. Thank you. Thank you, Rini. Thank you, Rini. Heart and hugs.
Simply Mamita, thank you so much. Thank you for the four green hearts. You know, when I see the green hearts, it reminds me that light green reminds me of, of um, the green apple. I don't know why. When I see light green, I think about the yummy green apple. Okay, so this is me in 2000, 2005. I went fishing and you can see my fish. I don't know if you guys could, oh, let me see. I could make it focus. I don't know if I can. Maybe if I pull it way more. I don't know if you guys can see it clear or not. But that was me at the river and I caught a fish. Yes, my friend, I, I understand, Sibli Mamita, that your, you know, your work keeps you busy. Don't worry about it. I understand. Thank you for the three watching and the five thumbs up. Thank you, my friend. Fishing that I got EB vlogs. Funky yeah, oh yeah. Thank you, my friend. Hi, how are you? Thank you for for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So here's the other picture of me. This one was December 16th, 2004, okay? So, December 16th, 2004. There's another picture of me. I caught this, I caught this fish. I caught this, you guys can't see it, it doesn't want to um, focus, okay, right there, you guys could see focus right there, let me hold it still, so this was in December of 2004, I caught that fish before the sun came up, it was raining, you can see the, the um, drizzle of the rain, and my brother took this picture of me. Let me see, somebody near. Beyond Cat B, thank you. Let me make you blue, my friend. 
This is the second time you come, so I make you blue. Okay, you're blue now. Thank you. Okay, now let me see. Let me show you guys another picture. Okay, this was 2000. Okay, I'll show you another picture, okay? This is in 2005. It's hard to focus. But this was me in 2000, 2005. You can't even see my face because it's blurry. Too blurry. I don't know why it comes out blurry. This is me, 2000, 2004. That's me, 2004. And in the background, that's my brother. As you guys could tell, I love fishing. I love to fish. That's when I was actually guapo. <laughs> That's when I was guapo when I was younger. <laughs> I was in great shape. I had um, good shoulder, good chest, stomach, arms. You know, that's why like they say. That's why like they say. I remember the... Um, I remember the um, the veterans would tell me appreciate your youth, your energy, your strength, your endurance. Appreciate it and soak it in. Do things, you know, and um, do physical things and enjoy it and all that stuff because. You only have it for a short time because, you know, once you start getting up in age, you won't have that, that, um, type of energy and you won't be able to do the things that you wish you would have done when you were younger. So I took that, you know, I, I would take that advice. So I did a lot of physical thing. I played sports. I ran, I did run. I would run for a couple of miles, you know, at least. At least three times a week back then, I used to run. I would run a couple of miles. But that was when, you know, back then. So I did a lot of, um, a lot of physical um, activity. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was thin back then. I was thinner back then. Let's see. Let's find something else. Okay. 2004 This is when I caught a big fish So it's just it's hard to see That's me right there. I caught that fish in the river So that was me right there. I was in great shape. Man, back in the, um, that was like, it was kind of cold. 
it was getting very cold back then. That's why I have a sweater on. It was starting to get cold because these these type of fish they don't come until during the winter time or getting close to winter. These fish come by the river. So these fish migrate and I went right before winter it was starting to get cold and this is when these particular fish come to the river they come from the ocean and they come into fresh water and so i went ahead of time and and i was able to hook up and catch that one um shortly after i took this picture i cleaned the fish cut the head my mom made head head fish soup and then she baked and cook the rest of the fish with rice and vegetables. Yeah, those were the the good old days. That's when I would fish a lot. You know, back then when I would um I would fish a lot. That would be my hobby. I would be fishing. That'd be my hobby. And back then when you know when when <laughs> when. I would prefer to go fishing instead of spending time back then with a with a with a with a um, girlfriend that I had back then. She would tell me, she would say, "You fish, you go fishing too much." And um, I told her that, "What does she rather me do? Go fishing for the fish in the water, or go fishing for fish on land?" <laughs> Uh, I've used that one before. <laughs> Don't say not. She didn't say nothing after that. Okay, so this was 2004. Let's see. And so remember this picture I showed you earlier of me catching that fish, that striped bass. Look at I have a jacket on, and it start it's getting cold, so I got the jacket. Well, I was this fish right here. I wasn't trying to catch that fish. I was trying to catch that that big fish that you guys saw earlier. Remember the big silver fish? My intention was not to catch this species of fish, but I caught it. So, um, my friend, he's Chinese. He caught a big fish. This is him. He caught that fish. So it's that same species of fish that I showed you earlier of me. He's right there again with that big fish. He's retired now. I haven't seen him for many, many years. I don't know whatever happened to him. This is me. It's hard to, it's really hard to, it won't focus. Mm, it won't. Yeah, this was me. It just won't focus. And that's a, uh, that's a different species of fish. And this is in um this is in San Francisco. This is in San Francisco. That day I went to um 
that day I went to a sporting event in San Francisco. So this is a picture out of, um, not in the stadium, but out of the stadium, on the outer part of the stadium. And this is inside the stadium before the game. So you can see the football. You can see the football players warming up in the in the background. You see them in the white jerseys. And then my mom ended up giving me this postcard. So this is San Francisco. Look at the, the, the hill. Look at the way it goes. It's very zigzag, the hill in San Francisco. So you go here, you go down, down like this. You curve and curve and curve. And it was a postcard that my mom gave me when she went to San Francisco. Thank you for, for the four. Let's see if I show you guys. This is me when I actually had hair, had some hair. See, this is in San Francisco. Um, this in San Francisco during that game on the outer part of the stadium. And you can see the ocean in the background. That was at a, that sporting event. See, when I actually had hair. <laughs> but now. But now I'm like Mr. Potato. No hair. And this is when. Me? When I actually had hair? <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying this. And see, this is Mrs. Korekek. <whistles> it's my Pelipena. This was in the Philippines or in Hong Kong.
So, so um, let me see. Obvious lockdown. Tamay nag bigay nag bi. <laughs> you guys can have a good time um, laughing me trying to figure this out. This one got me stuck. Oh, it's blood done. Sa my nag be gay. Nick Pasalubang. Oh, it's blood done. Sa my nagi be nagi. <laughs> that one gets me stuck. Nag be gay. Nag be gay. Oh, it's blood done. Sa ma nag be gay. Nick. Pasalubam. <laughs> Funky yao oh ya, yeah. binjindera. Thank you, bad girl. Sure, thank you. Thank you, Ordez. Okay, so this is before Mrs. Koreke was here in the U.S. with me. Abraham said, "Make a make a love shot." So this is me. I have my beanie on. It's during the winter, and I was we were video talking, me and her, and I took a a screenshot. See. And there's Mrs. Koreke. She was in Hong Kong. And I was I was here in the US. As you can see right here. I was happy to see her when we were talking on video. And this was through um Viper. The the app that I told you that I talked to you guys before. V I B E R Viper. That's a very good app to stay in contact with your loved ones. Thank you, um, Funky Yao Yeah. Orbit Log, hello, back girl. Back girl dropped her channel. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll try. So this is me and this is Mrs. Koreke. I'm here and she's in Hong Kong. This is during video on a screenshot. Remember that fish picture? That's this is a different picture. Um, this is the same picture when I showed you the big fish when I had that big fish. Remember? Uh, this is another picture of me with the big fish. So that's my fish that I caught that early morning
Once upon a time when I was guapo, with my guapo fish that I ate. <laughs> Yeah, I was in there, there, and now I'm macho. Pang Pahenyo Vlog. Good evening, Sir DK. Funky Yao Ya. Tropang Pahenyo Vlog. Peyaka Pasa Picture, Sir DK. <laughs> Let me try to say it again so you guys can have a good time. So it says, Payaka Pasa Picture Sir DK. Woo! Tu, tu Kayo. Tu Kayo. Tu Kayo. I could start up a song with that. Me Boho. Din. Mi bohok din, mi bohok din. Now must better macho. How about if I become macho, nacho? <laughs> You know, the reason why I use um, Macho Nacho because there used to be a, there used to be a rest, a quick fast food restaurant. There used to be a fat, fast food restaurant and um, they used to have these nachos that they used to have, you know, the nachos with melted cheese. Um, Beans, meat, chicken, sour cream, avocado, tomato, onion. So it was a nacho, like a mountain. And they put so much nachos for you that they called it, the, um, the name of the order was called Macho Nacho. It was called Macho Nacho. And so... Um, they already changed the name. They still sell the, the nachos, but they took the name away. They took the name Macho Nacho. And so now they named it Grande, Grande Nacho. I was like, what? What happened? Why did you take Macho Nacho out from it? You should have left it as um, Macho Nacho. So when I go on purpose, I already know that they changed. So on purpose, I tell them, Yes, I'll, this is me on the drive-thru, okay? So, I drive to the drive-thru, the intercon. And say, hello, may I help you? And I'll say, yes, um, can I order um, a macho nacho? And then they tell me, excuse me? Hello, sir, excuse me, what you say? Can I order a macho nacho? <laughs> and they don't know what I'm talking They have, they, they tell me, um, we don't have that. We have the grande nacho. I'm like, yeah. It used to be called macho nacho. Look it up on, on Google and you'll see that, that it used to be called um, macho nacho. But I like to pull their leg and joke, joke with them that they changed the name. Sir, my very doll, see you next. Okay, take care. Thank you for stopping by, my friend.
Thank you, Simply Mamita. Thank you for the heart. This is me. I'm smiling. This is me before the the game, the sporting event. So see, I went before the game started. So I'm in the stadium right here. Let me see what year was this was. This was in 2005. Okay, so, sir, see you next time. Yes, take care. Wash this before we cook Abraham's meat. Did you guys want to see more pictures? Let me know if you do. If not, I won't show no more.
Emmy. Emmy, honey, paid. Look, Sir DK, good evening. Pookie, yeah, oh, yeah. Hello, morning, sis. From Emmy. She already left, Emmy. Pookie, yeah, oh, yeah, already left. Let me lower that up because I don't want to get a copyright. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Amy. And hugs. So you guys missed it. Earlier I was showing um, pictures of me when I was a little, when I was younger. Not a little younger, a lot younger. You guys missed the pictures I was showing them. You guys want to see more pictures I'll show you more pictures if you want to see more pictures Thank you for the four in the house and the 12 thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for the two mil and the 12 mil thumbs up.
When did these expire? So I've had these candies, these nice candies. I've had it for so long, I, I forgot all about it. I just saw it in the pantry. Let me show you the pantry. So the pantry is right there where it's open. So that's like, there's food and snack in that. And sometimes I have it, I have stuff in there. I have it way in the back and I don't realize I have it. So I'm gonna leave this out so I can take it to work. And the, my coworkers could get some if they want. This is fat free, gluten free. So I'll take this to work for them to have. It's a whole bunch of them inside. And me only big love. Like 13 down share, so DK. Tropang Fahenya vlog. Teaching that I connect done. Be careful, I don't want you to fall down. Papa, you want water? Come here. Cold water. Come here. Hey, see, look at the small water. So cute. The small water for Abraham. I'll turn up the heat. Thank you for the five. Okay. Let me see. Don't fall down, Papa. So, there's me and Mrs. Koretke. It's a picture of us. Um, let me see what well, this was. This was before I left, right before I left to, to the U.S. This is like, I think two days before. No, it was a day before I left to the U.S. One day before I left to the U.S.
This is in Manila. This is in Manila. Um, this is Mrs. Koreke. On a hot sunny day. So she got the umbrella. We went over the bridge, like the, the walkway bridge to go to the, uh, to check where the U.S. Embassy is at. When they did have it there. And now, ne loto mo sir. And now, ne loto mo sir. This is when we were in Manila again. We were having a laugh and a good time. Waiting for our our food to come to the table. Careful, don't fall down. Thank you, Bignendera. Garibi vlog. Thank you for the four and the thirteen. The four mil and the thirteen. Thank you. See, when I have the Wi Fi on, my battery lasts so much more longer. So I got an hour and 46.
starting to get hot. Thank you, Bijinera. Bijinera, who gave you that name? Did you come up with that name? Is that your real name, Bijinera? Thank you for the four in the house, and thank you for the 13 thumbs up. Thank you, my friend. Don't fall down backwards, sit down right. You need to use restroom, Baba? Come on. Restroom, go body? No? Okay. You want more water? Let me know. I got water here. Thank you for the three. Thank you so much. You guys, if you have any questions and you want to know something, just just let me know. Let me know if you want to know something. No matter what it is. Kudu Sahani, live news. Hello, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Kudu. This is Guru's um, second time coming. So Guru, I subscribe to you, my friend, okay? So I'm, I'm now subscribed to you.
Oh, very nice. Guru, I'm watching. I'm watching your your video, my friend. Very nice. I see all the bulls, the water buffalo. I see the cow. The cows there. It's a lot of cows. Very nice. Okay, you give me permission to, to play your video, my friend. Okay, I play your video. Hi, Guru. Okay, I play for a little bit, okay? That's a lot of land. <laughs> the hello Rika. Abraham says make a make a love shop. Simply Mamita. Abraham, what are you doing, Papi? You're gonna get hurt. You want me? Come
Thank you, what I mean. Thank you, Emmy. Honey Pig Vlog. Guru Sahani Live News. Thank you. Diaz Lorica. You know, I always appreciate your support, my friend. You too, Simply Mamita, my friend. Missing. Thank you for the four mil. Let me see how many thumbs up. 14 thumbs up. All right. Look, why you show the, the, the sad? Tropang Pahinyo Vlog says, Guru, hello my friend. Choke on the meat. Drink water. Abraham! Drink water. Don't gargle. Drink it. Drink your water. Pang Pahenyo Vlog says, Hello, Abraham Guapo. Yes, sir, DK.
Edie Merenda here, Sir DK. And Banana K. Eating merenda here, Sir DK. It's banana K. Well, I want to try. I love anything with banana. You know, when I was a. The <sighs> yes. When I was um, a little boy, my mom used to make me banana nut bread. Yeah, she made me banana nut bread. So guys, this was me. When I actually, when I had hair, I actually had hair. I was thinner. Um, this I was twenty-two. I was twenty-two years old right here. How time has changed. Yeah, I had hair. And I was actually waffle one time. <laughs> well, big young moko banana kyu. Emil Bini Blog Dijes Hello Miami and Dijes Lorica <laughs> and little DK Laugh too. <laughs> yes, I eat a little bit. I'm I'm still full from the from the milkshake. I worked out today, so I made my milkshake. Julius Blog was there when I was making my milkshake. Okay. Let's do this. More practice than I know, Sir DK. Ha ha. La 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 la. Right here, it's hard to see me because of the of the cold machine. I'm right in front of the the soda machine. Okay, it's hard to see me, but I'm right in front of the the soda machine. That building there that I'm inside, where you see your one-time Guapo host. That was there one time. One time I was guapo, but I was standing on the front of the Coke machine. That building there is not there no more. They tore it down. That building is tore down. That that building there is the unemployment office. That's where people go go um, apply for unemployment. And I was not unemployed. I was working. I was working. I'm always working. Let me see who is here. Teachers couple talks. Yes. This is the first time I see you here, my friend. Okay. I'm gonna give you blue, my friend. Thank you so much. 
Thank you for coming here and putting your time. And then this is, thank you. That's me with my fish. Let me get it closer. When I was guapo. <laughs> Let me put pictures away Gorilla Gorilla Live Hello my friend my music singing friend All friends please visit Bless my channel. Yes, after the LS, after the live teacher couple talks, um, I'll go visit your channel, okay? And Emmy on the blog says, teacher couple, hello. New friends, please connect to my channel. Let me see if I show you more pictures, but um, this is a, of a couple of years ago. You guys want to see me when I was 12 years old? There's a picture of me when I was 12 years old. If you guys want to see a picture of me when I was 12, I'll show you. If not, I won't show you. Let me see. This is Mrs. Koreke in Hong Kong. Thank you, Emmy. Oh, cute. <laughs> this is me and Mrs. Koreke. This was in 
I think I showed you guys this picture before, so I won't show it. There are some of the people that are eating during during our wedding. There's Lola, my mother-in-law, and we're eating baboy. They started slaughtering the pigs at let me see, like a five o'clock in the morning. Let me show you guys this one. So this is me and Mrs. Korekek when when the pastor is reading. From the Bible. Thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Let me see. Thank you for the five. Thank you so much for the five mil. Let me go visit on the laptop the, the new people that came by. New channel lunch support me. About bones in our body. Your, your channel looks interesting, my friend. Heart eternal structure.
And this is from Teachers Couple Talks. Tropang Pahenyo Vlog. Hello, Teachers Couple. My old friend. Also, you known her before then. Thank you for the six mil. Thank you, my friends. Yahoo! I'll be right back, my friends. I'll be right back. Bye bye. You want more snack?
I'm coming, my friends. Sorry. Sorry po. Gorilla. Let me see how many are here. Three. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so much. Okay, Lang, Sir DK. It's 8.22, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11.22 in the Philippines. 38 more minutes and it's gonna be lunch time in the Philippines and in Hong Kong. How are you guys doing? Are you guys okay? Are you guys cleaning, cooking, just relaxing, playing on the phone? I'm so glad that my weekend starts tonight. Well, already now, it's my weekend because I don't have to work. I don't have to work tomorrow because every other Friday I'm off. It is 8.23 p.m. at night. Ooh, open the freezer. Got hot. Cool me down right here. Feels so good and cold. Ah. Feels good right here. Ah, nice and cold. Put my leg up here. Ah, oh, so cold, and it feels so good. I'm not, you guys don't mind I go to sleep for a while, okay? I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here in the Philippines it's so hot. I wish I could come inside the freezer. <laughs> Abraham says make a make a little shop. Let me say, what time is it in your country, sir? 8.25 p.m. Yes, here in is coming lunch. I cook rice and fish. Oh, that sounds good. I got the soy sauce if you need it. And I got the seasoning. We could add garlic salt. Oh, early in the evening. Oh, and you laugh. <laughs> Here in the Philippines, so hot, I wish I could come in the freezer. <laughs> yes, it feels so good.
Thank you, Emmy, for being here. You know, I, I felt full from the milkshake and helping Abraham eat his steak. Yes, no windy, so hot. Yeah, um, my friend Miguel, he's a Filipino. He says that his, all his friends and his family are complaining because it's so hot in the, in the Philippines. again and enjoy the nice cold freezer feels good oh I feel so good on my neck and on my back in the back of my head. Yes, it does. Yes, it feels so good. Thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Let me see. I gotta take the shot off so I can see how many people are here. Five. Meal in the house. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for being so kind. So, um, I was reading this book, it was very, it was very interesting, and, um, I don't know how many, how many of you guys are believers, believers in Christ, um, believers in the, in the Bible, I don't know how many of you guys are believers in the Bible, but this Bible, I mean this, it's not a Bible, this book, it's a message for all the people that will be left behind. So, what we be, what we believe in the Bible is that because it says in the Bible, all, all the messages and the scriptures that Jesus is coming back, and that there'll be one on the field. There'll be two in the field, and and. When the trumpet sounds, one would be caught up in the clouds to be with him, and the other one left behind. The other one will be left behind. So, um, those that are be left behind, 
there's this little book that um, that they could get telling them why they got left behind and not taken up with Jesus when Jesus comes back because that's what it states in the in the Bible in Scripture yes continue cooking Emmy continue cooking my friend you cook and you enjoy your your rice and your fish I got the seasoning here okay I'll put I'll put season on my fish I'll put season in my milk fish Yes, I love fish, rice, and vegetables. Ooh, sounds so good. You know what? I didn't even get to because I'm 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 full. I'll wait until Mrs. Koreke comes home. But she made she made um dinner for me. Such a great wife. My wife is something else. She made me um dinner. And I have it in the refrigerator, but I have not. I haven't heated it up. I'll wait until I'll wait until she comes home. Papa, you want water? Potty. Do you want potty? Go potty? Okay. Seventy-eight degrees. It's starting to get hot in the house. It's almost eighty. So I put that air conditioner on. Cause it's starting to get hot. Tijes lo rica, my friend. Make a make a lusha. Abraham says to you, lo rica. How's your day going, lo rica? Lo rica. Papa say. Abraham say, Lorica. Make a make a Yes, Abraham says, make a make a Say, Abraham says, make a make a Say, Abraham says, make a make a No, J is for Jesus. G, G is for George. Hello, baby Abraham Mosta. Behe tapos naka kain. Hello, baby Abraham Mosta. Be 
tapos nakaking Renny B have a premiere now. I gotta go for. Okay, my friend, you take care. Thank you, the Rica. You take care. Thank you for your time. Get down from next. I don't want you to fall down. Salud. I heard you sneeze, Papa. Thank you for the four. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dijes, for have staying here as long as you did. Thank you, my friend. You take care. Emmy, Oni, Big Blood. Oh, now I feel the AC. I put on the AC in the house. Now I can feel it. Here, the um, AC where I live at, it's very, very good. It cools down the house pretty fast. Um, the AC unit here w works in top notch. I can never complain. I've been living here for several years. And... Um, the AC unit here has always worked at top peak. So it really cools the house down pretty good. Also, um, during the winter time, it heats up really good too during the winter. Um, when it's summertime, it could, it could be like, okay, outside it could be maybe like in the summertime, past 41 Celsius. And I'll turn on the AC and you know what Mrs. Korekic will do? She'll go get a blanket. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> She'll go get a blanket. <laughs> because um, the AC works here so good, it, it makes the house cold. Makes me laugh. Okay, let me go to the studio and check out the latest of the studio here. Yeah, I'm getting closer. So I I got one thousand. 
Well, me and Mrs. Correcte got 1,949. 1,949 subscribers. I want to thank you guys. There's no way I could do it without you guys. You guys, you guys are awesome. I still have to go back and see who put comments so I could go visit you guys while I do the comments and then I'll go back and, and reply to you guys Go to audience. You know, it's better than nothing. It says subscriber bell notification percentage of total subscribers current. Subscribers who turn on all notifications for your channel is 26 percent, 26.7 percent, which is 520, 520 subscribers turn on the notifications. So that's good. I'm happy that, that at least I have 520 people that put notification on when, when I go live or I do a video. So I have people who tune in. I have people who tune in, which is, that are not subscribed, which is 40.3%. So 40.3% people view, but they don't subscribe. The viewer content for females is 68.3%. So 68.3 for female. Male, 31.7. This is an interesting percentage here. So the people age um, groups, for the people age groups between 25 years old and 34 years old are 25.9%. So young people from 25 to 34 years old 
is 25.9. Now, for people that are the ages 35 to 44, from 35 years old to 44 years old, are 63.1. The people that are 65 plus years and older are 11%. So from 45 to 54, 0%. From 55 to 64, 0%. Very interesting. These are fun to look at. Wow, I gotta upload more videos because right here it's telling me I have three videos uploaded in the last 90 days. That's not good. I gotta upload. I gotta stop being lazy. I gotta stop being lazy and lo upload more videos. I gotta do it. That's, that's not good that I do this. Three videos in the last 90 days? That's, that's, that can't be right. It says I uploaded three videos, three videos uploaded last 90 days. My goodness. If this is accurate, that means I'm being lazy. I'm slacking. I, I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta get with a program. Continue to grow. Unlock even more ways to earn, including the option to show ads on your video. I don't want to show ads since I'm not monetized yet. Abraham. Papa, where's your pants? We gotta go pick up your mama. Thank you guys for the 14 thumbs up and the View whoever it is viewing. Thank you so much. I know everybody is busy around this time because you guys have to eat lunch and make lunch. So I, I know that you guys are busy, my friends. I'm going to go ahead and get little DK ready because we have to go pick up his mama.
Thank you for the four. Thank you, my friend. I'm getting ready and getting um little DK ready so we can go pick up his mama. Thank you for the four in the house. Tropan Pajeño Vlog. Thank you for the roses. For the sleeping roses. <laughs> Let me go put his pants on and his socks. His mama gets off pretty soon. How about where's your shoes? Okay, your shoes are over here.
grab my shoes. Then we'll take off, Papa. Go pick up your mom. So right now it is 9.02 p.m. Hi, Twini. Let me make you blue, my friend. Thank you for coming. Have you been? It's great to see you. You're now you're now blue. So what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna start driving. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys in my pocket. Put you on my dashboard and then we'll drive to Mrs. Koreke. We'll drive to her job. Let me get you guys out of here. Turn off my Wi-Fi, see if I lose it.
Okay. Can you guys hear me? Let's go pick up Mrs. Koreke. Placement of units 
allied units in places like Ukraine, Romania, Slovakia, Hungary, and how those could be redeployed in the case of a Russian invasion along the border of Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, from Belarus, from Russia itself. And what you Thank you for the four. Because Ukraine's border is far from the borders of, for example, Lithuania and Latvia, it creates a massive problem for the Russian military. They would have to worry very deeply about NATO forces being deployed against Russia via Ukraine. They would, they would, it would free up American forces and NATO forces and in general allied forces to fight an invasion of NATO allies like Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Now, here's what the map looks like if Russia actually takes Ukraine. If Russia, if Russia actually takes Ukraine, suddenly, in order to, for example, defend the borders of Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, you would have to basically lower the ability to defend places like Romania, Hungary, and Slovakia. In other words, Ukraine right now is in fact fighting NATO's war. That is a reality. Ukraine is in fact weakening the Russian military and providing a bulwark against NATO states being invaded. That is the real politics looking at maps on the ground, recognition of reality. So how is it in America, I, I still am waiting to hear an argument. Why is it in America's interest for Russia to take Ukraine? I understand the argument. It's in America's interest to be realistic about the end of war goals. I've been making that case since basically two months into the war, the Henry Kissinger case. It is in the interest of the United States to provide enough material to Ukraine to realistically defend territory they currently hold and to look for an off-ramp. But if that off-ramp is not available, you have to continue funding Ukraine because if there ain't no off-ramp, there ain't no off-ramp. Vladimir Putin is recognizing that the West basically does not have the cojones to continue to even sign checks. We're not talking about Vietnam levels of commitment of American troops. We're talking about places where America has lost zero troops. Zero. We don't even have troops on the ground. In Thank you, Trubang. Trubang. People have heartburn about the sending of the money because this is where they choose to cut. By the way, I'm noticing a heavy crossover, again, between people who want to spend vast pools of money on subsidies for various enterprises in the United States and people who are very shy about providing aid to Ukraine. I, I came to my wife's work to pick her up. I'm picking her up from work. So I left the house and now I'm on, I'm on front of her job. So she's going to get off of work pretty soon. I will. I'll take care and I'll drive carefully. I have you guys <laughs> attached to the dashboard. Hey Mike, Phil and Mike is in the house. I'm right here waiting for my wife to exit the building, picking her up from work. I got three hours and 21 minutes of my LS. So I'll be getting off pretty soon, but um, I, just wa I just wanted to bring you guys along on the drive, which I just got here right now. Emmy only pig blog says hello Mike. So now gas has reached over here. Over five dollars a gallon. <sighs> 
Phil and Mike says, Hello, Emmy. Say hi to the wifey. For sure, I will. So today is my Friday because every other Friday the city has a furlough. The city that I live in has a furlough every other Friday. So one week I work five, five days. The other week <laughs> I don't work on Friday because I have it off. So every other Friday. So at least I, you know, I like my job because I'm guaranteed three days off every other week so you know it's nice Roll up the windows and not use the fuel. So instead, I rolled up, rolled down the windows, turn off the the car. Emmy says, thank you, always, sir, DK Couple. No, thank you, Emmy. Thank you for always supporting me and being here. I'm the one that has to be thankful to you. Up to 10,677 subscribers because of that promotion. Wow. Up to 10,677 subscribers because of that promotion. That is awesome. That is awesome, man. It's just, you, your your channel is just shooting up. Definitely. My goodness, um, Mike, it was like what you had like. I think when I first got on to your channel, you were like, um, what were you? You were like three thousand, I think. Three or four thousand when I first got on your channel a couple months ago. The subscribers doubled in ten days. That's impressive. Have a good night. Good night. Have a good one. Let me go ahead and silence that. No disturb, because my phone keeps on going, giving, giving me notifications. Some of the 
co-workers of my wife passed by and said good night and said hi. Yeah, I'm impressed by Phil and Mike. Thank you guys for for being here. I'm waiting for Mrs. DK to come out of the building. I'm right. I'm parked. If you see Mike, I'm parked right by the red curve. I'm not even supposed to be parked here, but I'm parked here. So because I'm parked right by the exit door of the employees. That's why when you saw those ladies pass by and they said hi to me. Um, It's because the exit door is just right there. I'm right in front of the exit door. I actually should be way on my left, parked in the parking lot. But I'm just right here, right by the exit door where she'll come out. Thank you, Emmy, for the hearts and hug. Thank you, my friend. She's coming out. Hi, make a make a love shout. Make a make a love shout, everyone. Hi, Mike How says hi, you? honey. Hi. Hello. Just and got Emmy, a break. And, and Emmy's here. Hot, yes, it's hot today. So I was having the Man, that guy, thank goodness I was driving slow. That guy would have hit us, team boned us. Imagine if I was just going straight. I'm the one that had to right away. Yes. They're supposed to stop there. Yes. See? And that's a perfect e re reason, perfect example why it's important to be a defensive driver. Because I had to right away, those people went right through the um, the stop. They drove right by the stop. And I had to right away. Imagine if I was driving through that parking lot and a good speed, they would have T-boned us. There they go, shopping. He already went shopping with Daddy. You silly boy. He wants to go shopping with him. Oh, 
that's right. I forgot about, about your swapping ability at work. Oh my goodness. I forgot that you had that. I can swap, but... All right, guys, I hit the three hour mark. So I want to thank you. And um, I win the LS right here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emmy, for that mic. Thank you, everyone. I'll jump on later on and jump on your guys' channel. Jay's for Jesus. All right, guys. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Emmy. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Sure. I'll pay you a visit, my friend. Okay, Thank you so me. much. God bless. God bless Everybody. you. Have a yeah. great day. What? A what, baby?